Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to balance this reaction. Okay, to balance this reaction, we'll adopt some steps. However, to balance this reaction, let me do a table like this. Okay, and the second step, I will write down the number of atom from both sides. Here we have uh, here we have one copper. So let me write that one copper. Here we have one oxygen, and here we have two hydrogen. On the right hand side, we have here one copper. Here we have two hydrogen, and here we have one oxygen. So here we have one copper one copper so copper is balanced here we have one oxygen one oxygen so oxygen is balanced here we have two hydrogen two hydrogen so hydrogen is balanced right so this equation is balanced okay let me show you the second way to balance this reaction i think this second way also will help you to balance this equation quickly right okay if you are given such type of equation then you have to see uh, in the left side of the equation so in the left side we have here copper then here we have oxygen then we have hydrogen so to balance this reaction means in the first step we will balance the copper then in the second step we will balance the oxygen and in the third step we will balance the hydrogen so let me uh, balance in the first step i will balance the copper right so copper so we have one copper one copper so copper is balanced so after balancing the copper i am getting this equation right i am getting this equation now i will balance the oxygen right so in steps two i will balance the number of oxygen so here we have one oxygen one oxygen so after balance balance the oxygen i am getting this equation right now i will balance the hydrogen right so in the third step i will balance the hydrogen so here we have two hydrogen and here we have two hydrogen so after balancing hydrogen i am getting this equation okay so this equation so this is uh, now you count the number of uh, uh, atoms here one copper one copper one oxygen one oxygen two hydrogen two hydrogen so this is the balanced equation thus you can balance many equations thank you for being this video be well